Hello everyone, my name is Bobby. I'm the Executive Kitchen Manager and Chef at Lady Fingers Catering. Today, we're gonna to prepare for you a bluegrass chicken stuffed in a puff pastry with a heart-shaped design. So we're gonna start off by going through these relatively simple ingredients to make a really delicious dish. We have a four ounce chicken breast. You can pick up at the grocery store. Um, go to your local deli, get a nice thick sliced smoked ham. Um, we have our Swiss cheese. I cut it down into a little bit thicker pieces. Um, you can get one from the store. It's already sliced really well for you. Um, some mayonnaise, a Dijon mustard, or what we have here is a golden spicy mustard. I like it. It gives a little more flavor. Um, and this is some uh, liquid egg or just beaten eggs that you can use from home. And we also have sheets of puff pastry that you'll find in the freezer section of your grocery store. Now we're going to assemble everything. So your first step is going to be, you're going to take your mayonnaise and it gets you a mixing bowl. Take your mayonnaise out. And you're going to have about three quarters of mayonnaise to your quarter of mustard. Now, I, like I said before, I use that Dijon mustard. You're just going to do a nice little teaspoon in and mix it around. So you get a nice, creamy, light mix. I take some of it and I put it over to the side. You're going to use this later when you add, uh, when you finish your chicken. So you're going to lather your chicken in your mayonnaise mustard mixture. And kind of wipe it off a little bit so it's not too, too soupy. And set it down on your six by six piece of puff pastry. They might come in different sizes. Um, six by six is a safe area to trim it down to to get really what you uh, want to do to cover everything after you stuff it. Next, you're gonna apply your cheese. Get nice three, three nice thick pieces, and then you're gonna cover it with ham. And try to do your best to get completely around your chicken. It should look something like this when you're all said and done. Next part is grab your first corner of your puff pastry and it's gonna stretch a little bit and that's okay. And you're gonna come over with it. You're also gonna grab the other side and you come in and you kind of push them together and they'll, and they'll tighten up and they'll lock in. Grab your other corner and you come over and your other corner and lock them in. And it should look something like this. Now you grab this end, pull this over. And what we're doing is we're just closing up that puff pastry, really making it nice and snug in there so you don't lose any of the, the liquid come out of, to come out of it. Once that's pushed in and all your seams and everything is nice and tight, you can flip it over. And I kind of just take them and get you a nice little pretty puff pastry right there. Of course, we're gonna make it more fun for Valentine's Day. We're gonna cut out a heart-shaped puff pastry. And you take a heart-shaped mold, and push down on your puff pastry. You get this nice, pretty heart design. And what I do is I take a knife and just very, very lightly score the top of your puff pastry. And you're gonna take a little bit of that egg mixture and brush it on here. So when you add your heart, It'll keep it on there. So it gives you, before we bake, this is what you should look like. While you're prepping and getting all your ingredients together, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. That way it's nice and hot. Once you get everything done, you can go straight to the oven with it. Grab a pan. You're gonna need some kind of cooking spray. Spray it really good. You don't want this thing to stick to the bottom of the pan, then it'll, you'll have a big mess on your hands. Grab your puff pastry. Put it in the middle of your pan, you're gonna put it in the oven. So while your chicken is cooking, you're gonna go ahead and get the other half of your sauce that we set aside. You have half that you use for dipping your chicken, and this is the half that you're gonna use uh, that didn't touch the chicken on your plate. So what I do is I'll take a nice hearty scoop, put a nice good dab in it, do a little smear if you wanna get fancy, and we're going to grab our chicken, 
And I made a little bit of an asparagus medley just to go with it to show you what your plate could look like. And we have a amaretto cherry cheesecake as well. And when your chicken comes out, it should be a nice golden brown and have a nice pretty heart on top. And this is our bluegrass chicken wrapped in a puff pastry with our own little Valentine's Day twist.